Hey, what's going on YouTube? Southern Knights, yet again with a quick video. And before you watch this one all the way through, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Links in the description box. Feel free to donate. With that said, it's a lot of World War Three talks on the table right now. Um, nuclear PSAs going out, particularly in New York. People being concerned about the talks of World War Three. You have Russia media, even though it's banned in certain countries, talking about World War Three. You have people over here talking about World War Three. So this has been the talks. This is the talks that's going on right now. So you have right now the situation that's brewing, of course, um, Russia, Ukraine, but you also have other conflicts brewing also over there. And a lot of these conflicts are coming to a head. So now you had got a lot of people over here saying that we need to get ready. We need to do this. And I'm going to tell you a lot of these, if, if too many um, states start doing these PSAs, you're going to see a lot of panic buying. You're going to see a lot of people rushing to the grocery stores, getting stuff. Because I got a feeling that more states is going to do this. Because usually when somebody set the stage for something, the other um, states follow suit. So you're going to see more of these PSAs come out and you're going to see more concern then if something overseas were to happen or another um, country or NATO or the Baltic States, something like that, get into a conflict, you're going to see more talks over here. Meaning that it's not going to be separated no more. You know how people used to tell you that, oh, man, that stuff happening over there, man. It ain't nothing for us to worry about because people didn't understand the connection economically when it comes down to oh man they're just over there now they seeing the effects by over there that is really affecting over here <laughs> you see what i'm saying so a lot of people see that now because people here man we had this if it ain't gonna say we had it People here still got it. This superiority conflict is that we can't be touched by economic sanctions. We the most powerful in the world. We could defeat all the militaries combined on earth. I'm talking about some of the most unrealistic stuff that I ever heard coming from other YouTube channels and other social media sites. It is almost like they making this place untouchable. And I try my best to separate myself from people like that because I've been in, when I came up, I was a competitive person. I did um, wrestling, karate, little bit of MMA, um, flipper contests, rap battle contests. So I'm a pretty competitive, competitive person. And one thing I always do in a competition is never underestimate my enemy or not enemy or well, if you can say enemy or competitor or opponent, whatever the case may be. That was my approach because if I didn't have that approach, I would come into a situation naive and and be swallowed up or lose whatever competition. I always understand, I always understood that. But here, I think people didn't have that lesson yet for the simple fact that they was born into a time after World War II, particularly from the baby boomers on down, was born into a time of peace. And 
didn't have to experience no more war after World War II. And now, due to the media, they've been drilling this, oh, America power, America's undefeated, um, uh, United States undefeated, and we can't be beat. Uh, the other nations ain't powerful enough. Look at their military. <laughs> oh, no Korea got drunk military. It, it, it's just this, this is the stuff that we've been fed. And you still have people, some every now and then coming to the comment session will say, well, it would never happen. And I'm like, okay, I, I respect everybody opinion that come on this channel. I don't, you know, but at the same time, I don't look at stuff one dimensional and whoever been follow, following me for quite some time know this. I give it to you on a cosmic level. I give it to you on a law level, history level. Y'all know I look at all spectrums. And then when I line all spectrums together, that's how I come up with my conclusion. Because if you see a similar situation that's being done in the future that was already done in the past, your first thought should be, okay, I'm going to look at a documentary. Or I'm going to read a book on this and see what happened and see will it happen similar to what's going to happen right now. And usually it does because one thing about, traditional people in America, they don't switch up anything. If it happened in the past, nine times to 10, it's going to happen the same way in the future. It's pretty obvious. You know? So, if people allow what happened in the past to happen to them again, all I have to say, they all willing participants in their own downfall economically because they should have seen this coming. Same thing with the housing market. If people were trying to prevent a housing market, why did they continue the same practice that caused the housing market in the first place? You see what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to say is most likely we going to a repeated history that never been unresolved and people are going to fall for it yet again. And I could go into numerous of histories. I could go into the revolutionary war when the people in America got freed from the British and turned around and put themselves right back in slavery with the British. <laughs> you know, that, I'm going to do that later. I, I, I'm going to do that video later. Because that right there, long overdue, because I'm, I'm sick of hearing people saying my tax dollars. I'm going to kill that myth right now and let them know that your tax dollars is not really going to this economy, but it's going to the Queen of England, hence 10%. So that's where I'm going to go with that video. So I'll do that one later. Because I want to have the proof on the table when I do that. You know how some people say the receipts? But yeah. But this is where we're going at. So really... World War II really was a continuation of this upcoming war that's coming on right now because if you really think about it, um, issues was never really resolved like that. When Israel, Israel became a state in 1948, then Morocco, 19, um, what, 52, um, if I'm not mistaken, January the 2nd. I know it's early in the morning, but, <laughs> but yeah, when they, when Israel became a state, 
they really didn't get no peace like that. They were still getting bombed on. <laughs> they was it was still war. The seven day remember the seven six day war. So they were still had to build trenches and stuff. So all of these issues. Then you had a Gulf War. Then you had uh, Desert Storm. It was all types of wars that was brewing, particularly in the Middle East. That really was a continuation of what's going on right now because all of those countries that suffer or uh, them Gulf states are now reuniting. They are reuniting. <laughs> this is what you got going on right now. So America and its allies is facing a superpower like never before. See, Hitler, Japan, and um Italy was on there was the only three. And look how much um mayhem that they caused around the world. Now you 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 dealing you 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 dealing with a power you you dealing with a billion troops close to a billion troops if it was a ground war not to mention the power of the military the the like they heavily armed to the teeth I mean heavily armed all the way to the heavens <laughs> this this is what this place is dealing with right now. So my question is, is this undivided privilege seeking place right here is prepared to deal with that. Separating people from Democrat Republicans, which I told y'all before, those two sides of the same corn majority of Republicans are traditional Democrats that switched parties after the civil rights era when more blacks was voting Democrat. People still don't get it. When blacks were voting Democrats, that's when the party switch, but instead of them switching parties, they haven't switched foundations nor mentality. So that's explain why when a on um black get killed, no matter how he get killed, it's automatically justified before the proof come out. Sound like a uh, uh, one of them traditional um, Southern Democrats to me that that usually was a part of the Klan that probably have their grandpa Klan <laughs> suit in in the closet right now. But that's neither here nor there. But that's why I told people don't get caught up in the whole party system. If you vote, you vote. That's fine. I'm not telling people vote not to vote, but don't get so much invested in it to where you lose out of touch with reality and you get caught off guard. And then you're going to be talking this come together stuff with the rest of them when you at a place of no return. Because I see this a lot. And then when everything get back to normal, they'll turn around and act like they ain't never said it. <laughs> y'all know the groups that I'm talking about out here. Y'all y'all already know. But, um, yeah. But everybody is talking this. Everybody, the war is brewing. The atmosphere is changing. If you really look, you know, it's less sunny days. I, I don't know if y'all noticed this. The Some places, the sky is turning red, orange. You have all sorts of reports. So the atmosphere is changing. The atmosphere is changing. And this comes from all of the conflict that haven't been resolved to where it caused the particulates in reality to change the atmosphere and the mentalities and now you are about to see chaos like you never seen before. Because it was a point where we could have turned this around. 
But you have people due to the fact they greed, they lust for power, they the power trip people that always want to have power over people because they never had it coming up. You had all of this stuff. Now the atmosphere has changed. And now when everything flip around, now you have to deal with those people that were once on the bottom. And people definitely ain't ready for that. <laughs> they, they ain't ready for that. You know, so that's my take on what I think about the upcoming battles that's about to take place. Why everybody over here is talking about World War Three? Why everybody's concerned about it? You got PSAs coming out, and you're gonna have more coming out. So it's just the it's the main talk right now. This is the main talk. You know, and I told y'all, see, I do stuff when it's not popular because I've been talking about World War Three for almost probably like a year now. And now I'm starting to see those videos that I was talking about gaining momentum because a lot of people wasn't really tuned to that or really on that. So now I'm starting to see that the interest is there now because everybody know that the atmosphere is changing and we are heading into a warlike climate, especially with the recession and all of this stuff, which hit a another high, a 41 year high. And I'll do something on that also. So now people are paying more money for goods that they got for less last month. But I'm going to make that another video. I I'll make that another video. But that's pretty much it for this one. But if you like the content, like I told y'all, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate y'all coming in. Y'all don't know how much it means to me for y'all coming in, tuning in. Um, getting some of this um, information. I'm glad I've, I'm helping people, getting people prepared, including myself. And I just want to say, appreciate you. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.